This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to do a short review of the 2018 Thor Vegas 24.1. I'm currently in the process of looking for an RV and eventually I'm going to buy one, you know that? Uh, but in the meantime, I'm checking out all kinds of them. I was at the motorhome uh, specialist over there in Alvarado and I had a chance to check out this unit. I was really impressed. I really liked it. It has a very large bed in the back and three, count them, three 32-inch LED TVs. Amazing! I'm not going to talk too much. At least I'm going to try not to talk too much during this uh, review. Here's with a slide in. And here with a slide out. What I liked about this unit is uh, that it was very compact. I want something small. Uh, this is a little bit bigger than your classic uh, SUV. There's plenty of Rotocast uh, storage in this uh, RUV as they call it. I think that stands for Recreational Utility Vehicle. That's what Thor is calling it. Two plugs here for AC. Yes, my camera is wandering about. This is one of those uh, 32 inch TVs. One for the outside, one for the bedroom, and one for the uh, living room area. X era. Hmm. This is another storage area. Again, plenty of storage on this Thor Vegas 24.1. I was really impressed. Nice windows. Nicely tinted too. There's a little propane hookup. Back of the uh, water here. Back of the fridge. There's the water here actually. There's a fresh water connection. It has been winterized for your protection. So here's a wide shot of the passenger side. You can, again, you can pause this video at any time to look at the specifications, to look at visuals that you uh, like. I shot this all in 4K. And again, this is one of the highlights of this vehicle. Plenty of storage. You cannot complain about that storage. That's a lot of storage. Rotocast uh, containers down there. It won't get all moldy and messy and gunky. And it has one, two, three entrances to that storage. That's how they uh, lock the doors uh, up. Uh, they have these little clips. Very unique design. That's the Cummins uh, generator. where you put some gasoline, unleaded fuel only. Do not put that leaded fuel, not that you can find any. And that's the 30 amp plug-in. And you get two tires in the back for that stability that you require for carrying, uh, you know, all that weight. By the way, this unit can tow 7,000 pounds. That's your city water connection, the shower, and more storage down there. Oh, is that the propane? I wonder if that's propane. Let's find out. No, that's uh, where they uh, have the water tanks. I don't know what's behind there. This is where they have the propane. Right there. More storage back here and uh, access to some of your equipment so you can uh, 
make sure it's operating at a high level. And this is a view of the driver's side. That little topper over there for the uh, slide out. I climbed on the roof and I saw the AC unit and the various vents and the antenna and uh, they have this very nice max air cover. That's a really sweet thing. And right behind it they have this little uh, contrivance. I was wondering what it is. I, I got a close-up of it. I think it's uh, where you can connect uh, some uh, you know rooftop solar panels. I don't know. I'll have to ask them. It was a beautiful day in Alvarado, Texas. Here's another view of the side, the passenger side. You have a camera and uh, a wide-angle lens there, and you have the Schwintec. A lot of the latest technology in this unit. And the handle to uh, get inside is transparent. Here I am, going inside. There's a view of the driver's uh, seat. Put your cup of coffee right there, your soda, your beverage. And uh, you should contact your local Ford dealer or Ford directly and ask them what all this stuff is. Or you can pause the video and read it. There's the fog lights, uh, the generator start. You got a lot of stuff there. And of course that uh, folds down for a little desk. So your partner can uh, do their work on the road or just enjoy themselves. This slides down and uh, covers the front window. That's a gigantic window in the front. Gigantic. You get an expansive view with this RUV. That curtain covers the left, uh, I mean the right, you know, the passenger side window. And there's another curtain on the other side. And these seats look very nice. I like them. Nice two-tone. And of course, there's a steering wheel. And it's a smart steering wheel, so you can control some of the functions. And that's the little lock that I make sure that bed above you doesn't uh, go down. And there's a key also <laughs> that controls that uh, to make sure that doesn't decide to go down. It can handle 500 pounds. That's a significant person, huh? 500 pounds. Now, taking out the slide. There's a lot of room inside there. I was really impressed. Quite a bit of room inside this 24.1 Vegas. And I do like that upholstery. And the floors are also pretty nice. Here I am panning. You got three uh, seat belts there and two in the front. That makes for a total of five. You can sleep somebody there. You can sleep somebody at that uh, on that uh, bed that goes above the uh, cabin. And of course, you have the bedroom in the back. Plenty of places for people to nap, to kick back, to relax. Be they adults or children. Here's a close-up of the uh, couch fabric. They have overhead cabinets uh, above the uh, sofa. They have these nice little spring latches. And plenty of uh, lights and switches under there and uh, connections. Uh, 110 connections right there. What do you think of that pattern? What do you think of that big, big curtain. What do you call those? Roll-up blinds? They have roll-up blinds instead of those uh, stringy, stringy little <laughs> curtains that people have. There's a, there's a nice little cup area. And they have the uh, thermal foil uh, countertops and uh, and that makes a big difference. I do like that much better than uh, laminate. This, that thermal foil, uh, that membrane material uh, does uh, withstand moisture quite a bit better than uh, laminate. This is where you can put a table so you can sit at that sofa and uh, play cards, uh, 
have a beverage or just watch TV? It's a close-up of the mirror. Nice pattern. There's a light and a vent. They have two uh, rows of vents and lights on this unit going all the way back from the, again, from the front all the way to the back. Here's a TV above the entrance to the uh, RUV, and those are the cabinets, the two cabinets right above the uh, kitchen. There's the refrigerator, fuse box, and also your uh, convection microwave. Some small cabinets there, and a large cabinet down to the right. And there it is, and a stainless steel sink with uh, a very nice faucet. Again, those blinds are very nice. That's a definite upgrade. So I'll open them up for you. As, uh, that's what people do in these videos. They open up <laughs> the cabinets and they show all the stuff. They show where the TV connections are and the hinges. and uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta get a bit wider of a lens. My lens is not quite wide enough. I need a wider lens. I have a zoom lens, but it's wide, but it's not super wide. It only gets about about 24 millimeters on a full frame camera. And there's the countertops. Again, those uh, countertops are very water resistant, almost water resistant as a you know solid surface. They're quite good. There's the faucet, moving it around. Yes, it does move. And open up the stove because I can. <laughs> there it is, a two burner stove. Pretty straightforward stove, uh, nothing uh, too wild or crazy. I've seen these in hundreds of and thousands of units. And there's a close up of the textures in this uh, design. And here's the uh, sheet uh, information at, at uh, Motorhome Specialists. And of course, you can always talk to these folks or any of your local dealerships and ask them, what's up? What can you sell me one of these things for? It's actually quite nice. I'm quite, quite impressed. These are little tiny cabinets, little drawers, but they're very functional. Place where you can put your remotes and some odds and ends. They're not very large. That's what the overhead cabinets are for. That's the large ones and the one below the microwave. There's a good size one too, the microwave, uh, the convection microwave. They're all plywood construction. That's a very nice construction. Here I am panning from the bottom and uh, they, this refrigerator opens up very nicely. Good size refrigerator, huh? Again, what do you think? Do you think this is a good size refrigerator? It should be bigger, smaller. I would like to see more uh, just AC/DC refrigerators instead of uh, AC and propane because I'm a big proponent of solar and uh, AC/DC. I'd love to have one of those, uh, a little smaller unit. Doesn't have to be that gigantic refrigerator for me. Opening up more drawers for you. It's a funny way to grasp on something, huh? This uh, stack of drawers and this mirror in this area right here are totally accessible when you open the doors of the bathroom. The, there's one door that opens to the, closes off towards the cabin and the other one closes off towards the bedroom and makes a gigantic area right in the bath area. So. Uh, well, that door to the right just opens up and closes right there and it makes a gigantic little space there for your bathroom. There's some controls and some uh, USB uh, charging sockets and uh, that's where you can control your air conditioner and that's your audio system. Got some little cubbies here and there. Plenty of cabinets to the left, to the right, all over the place in this uh, bedroom area. And again, they do have those pull-down blinds. 
So you have three windows. That should give you plenty of ventilation, huh? And I do like those pillows. Uh, they are very aesthetic. And that's the uh, window valances. They actually finished them on the sides also. Then he just put a piece of cheap fabric. They actually made some nice little valances for him. Here I am attempting to open it. I pressed it once. No. I get it past that little piece of metal there that's uh, for the emergency exit. I'm going to go back and close it. Yes, that's me. I got to get a haircut. But that's, uh, I'm gonna... eventually that's going to happen. And that's where the uh, door towards the uh, front of the, uh, uh, you know, RV, that's where it the magnet attaches so you open that one on the right and you close it that way and it attaches via magnet right there there it goes click and the other one open ups, opens ups opens up the same way and you got this and it sort of enlarges that area makes you know, it makes it a lot bigger so uh, you can dress there you can put your towels right there plenty of room and this one opens up too and uh, again it goes right there and makes this large area so now you got this area behind you and in front of you here and you got these little puny little cabinets little tiny cabinets but they're functional you're not going to carry that much toiletries i hope not unless you got like a, you know, a bunch of stuff some people do carry a lot of stuff but i'm not much i just carry a comb and some shampoo and uh, some soap and some deodorant and toothpaste and my toothbrush. Obviously, I don't shave much and I don't uh, need something to cut my hair. I'm just, uh... so they have in cabinet heating, nothing in the floor, very efficient. And they do have some better appointments in regards to the shower uh, faucet there and also the uh, shower wand, a lot better than your typical plastic, little white plastic stuff. So it's has a shower curtain so you won't bang your window in any glass. Nice uh, hinges there. Again, there's a close-up of the hinges. Ceramic toilet. Nobody's going to complain about that, huh? Easy to clean. Much easier to clean than those plastic ones that can scratch. Now you to put your TP. Because you have both of those doors open, you can uh, you have plenty of leg room. Now I have to close it up. Here we go. Close one of them, and then close the other one. There I am. I'm all set. This has been Jesus Manuel Managarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.